Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Raw meat. Thanks for the questions, guys. Uh, the channel is still young and I have the time uh, to read all of your comments uh, so far and, and make videos at your request. And I'm by no means a nutrition or health expert or any of that stuff, and I'll never speak about those things here. I just speak about the diets from a historical, ancestral point of view. And today we are speaking about raw meat versus cooked meat. Just like everything that civilization brings into human history, when the new replaces the old, the old is better in almost every way, uh, except the new one is safer and more convenient and it makes us more comfortable. The invention of cooking uh, and meat is the same thing. Raw meat is definitely more nutritious and brings some other benefits that cooked meat doesn't, but raw meat is also uh, a lot more risky for harm and bacteria that can make you very sick and even kill you, and it's also a lot harder to digest for the most part depending on which meat. And some animals can't even be eaten raw at all, or you have a damn near 100% chance of getting sick. Uh, most birds are included in this, um, but you're definitely less at risk if you eat like uh, steak or red meat raw, but even that can do some harm too. But this video, to make it easy, let's just talk about steak. I'll have to do lots of videos on all the other types of meats later on. So raw beef is more nutrient dense. When you cook meat, or any food for that matter pretty much, some of the nutrients get cooked out of it, mostly the vitamins. The minerals, it doesn't lose a whole lot, that's good, and the macros don't lose a whole lot either. So raw meat does have a little bit more nutrients. Um, now there are a lot of kind of assholes online trying to twist these numbers and trick us. They say that there is more protein and less fat in a cooked steak, so it's healthier that way. But what they do is they calculate the percentage, pound for pound, of what the uh, nutrients and protein and fats are in it. They take 100 grams of finished cooked steak and compare that to 100 grams of raw steak. And the cooked steak in there has more protein and less fat, yeah, of course. But what they fail to mention is that cooking that steak makes it lighter, okay? That steak, before you cooked it, maybe weighed 150 grams, and you cooked all the hydration and some of the fat and a lot of the nutrients out of it, and it ends up 50 grams lighter. So that's good, right, if we're just looking at it as a... Uh uh, weight of the food you eat, but in effect you just wasted 50 grams of valuable nutrients. Uh, it's probably less than 50 grams, I'm just using easy numbers to, to make this simpler, but you see what I mean? It's not a fair comparison, so that's the first thing. So yeah, raw meat is actually more nutritious, even pound for pound, especially if ancient humans would have the choice, right? If they would have had a choice of 150 grams raw meat, or they cook it and they only get 100 grams of meat out of it, the choice is pretty easy. They'll take the raw meat. But we are not carnivores. We are not lions. We are not hunter-gatherers anymore. We evolved out of that lifestyle 10,000 years ago or less for certain people in the world, depending on where your ancestors come from. So today we have evolved to cook the meat, mostly. And that brings us to the point number two. Definitely we are able to process and digest cooked meat uh, a lot easier than raw meat. It's our stomach has far less uh acids than a carnivore does, for example, like a lion. These acids in the stomach help the digestion of the meat, and they also help kill a lot of the bacteria and the parasites that you will find in raw meat. Humans 10,000 years ago, they weren't the same as a lion or a carnivore, sure, but they still had a lot more of that acid in the stomach than we do today to protect them from the parasites and bacteria that they would have come across. So that is the number one important note. Yeah, we humans have eaten raw meat for a long time and we did just fine. We did it for tens of thousands of years or even longer, but we are not those ancient humans anymore. As much as I would like to be, I really would, but our stomachs and our bodies in general are not, uh, they don't have the same defense mechanisms as we did back then. So fair enough, that's a valid point uh, and an argument to eat cooked meat instead of raw. But theoretically, the worst of all this bacteria and parasites that comes in raw meats, if they've done studies on it, it mostly comes when the meat has been sitting around for some time. 
if we ate the meat as soon as we killed the animal and we didn't have to ship it halfway around the world and treat it and preserve it, then there is much less of a risk for that raw meat to make us ill. If you ask me, this is probably exactly what ancient humans did too. The men would go out hunting, They'd make the kill, they would be the ones eating it raw, maybe. Uh, especially the organs, all kinds of tribal hunter-gatherers around the world, even still today, uh, they go for the organs first and they eat those raw. Uh, the liver, the heart, the balls, etc. And then they would carry the rest back to the village, maybe give uh, a couple more raw pieces to the kids or to the women, and they would cook the rest of it. So it would mostly be cooked meats. Uh, except for the first kill and, and the first couple hours after they uh, they slaughtered the animal. So if you do any hunting or if you have your own livestock, you can definitely duplicate this today. But for the rest of us, access to a fresh killed <laughs> animal meat is not possible. Fishing, okay, that's maybe easier. Uh, shit, even the top sushi restaurants in the world have to import raw fish, and that's okay to eat for quite some time after the fish is killed. But you just have to be so careful with raw things, uh, eating that, and you have to know what you're doing because there is a big difference in the types of meats, like I said. So some are edible, some are not. Some need just a little bit of cooking, some need a lot more cooking. As this is things that we should be learning in school as children. I get so pissed off about the education system. How many valuable things have children been taught throughout all, all human history? Really valuable things like which plants and animals can we eat and which ones are going to kill us? That sounds like pretty important information, don't you think? Instead, what are we teaching kids in school today? Absolutely nothing useful besides maybe math and science. But yeah, I think we could get rid of like 90% of the education today and just light it on fire and, and fill it with much more valuable subjects to teach the children as, as humans have done previously in history. But anyway, enough ranting. What could we do today incorporating raw versus cooked meats? And what would be like the seasonal variation on these types of things that our ancestors would have had? First off, I think we have to build up to it. Um, we can't just go cold turkey and start on the raw meat diet right away. Most of our stomachs today are not strong enough, but... You know, if you look at people like Liver King, <laughs> he eats raw meat all the time and he does just fine. So I do think it is possible even for us humans today to slowly train up our stomachs, start with a little bit of raw meat every now and then, and then build up to eating it more and more often to take it. I, I think Liver King goes way overboard eating these things, <laughs> having raw meat pretty much three meals a day. None of our ancestors would have ever eaten like that before. So what we're looking at is a more realistic, um, schedule of eating raw meat is depending on the time period of course when we are in history me I like to look at the Bronze Age I think the Bronze Age um, it, it was came at different times in different areas of the world but I think that was the most beautiful time and a perfect blend of tribal hunter-gatherer civilization with a civilized kind of agricultural um, uh, society but that's just me what I would do to emulate their diet when it comes to the raw meat is maybe go on a hunt two, three times a month, whether that be some deer or some fish or whatever, and then eat the raw meat as soon as the animal is killed. That minimizes the risk for bacteria and parasites. Eat it fresh then, but the rest of the time would be cooked or smoked or preserved meat. We didn't have freezers in ancient times, so the meat would honestly be a lot of it smoked or salted or pickled and preserved some way. That would honestly be the majority of the meat that they ate. Then the cooked meat, maybe a, a little bit of the remainder of the time, maybe 30% of the time, and a couple times, once a month, twice a month, three times a month, that would be some raw meat. And of course it would be uh, changing with the seasons, of course it would be lots of cooked meat in the the fall and early winter when all the festivals and harvest uh, times were happening and then more smoked and preserved meats in the late winter and early spring not a whole lot of meat at all during the summer and like I said kind of raw meat uh, scattered in between a couple times a month maximum that's what I would do